Welcome to DriveSite. DriveSite is a great CAD software from Dassault with more than 1 million active users in the world and you probably know it's free. Today, I'm going to tell you about a PDF import plugin for DriveSite distributed by Gravert. With DriveSite, you have a feature to export your DWG files to PDF. This PDF was for example exported from DriveSite and you can see we have also all the information about layers that can be switched on and off. If you are looking for this PDF export feature, you will find it in the file menu. When you export to PDF, you can choose the sheets you want to include. The first one is the model space, and you can have more sheets depending on the layouts you created. You can also define the paper size of your PDF, and can see in the list the most commonly used standards. And this is the option you need to activate if you like to include the layers information, like in our example. So as you can see, you have a very nice PDF export feature in DraftSight, even in the free version. But what about now the import of a PDF to DraftSight? PDF is a commonly used format to send drawings over the internet, but you can't edit them with DraftSight. See for example this drawing. How can you convert it to DWJ? Well, the PDF import plugin for DraftSight is a solution. Here you can see I've installed this plugin. I will show you now how you can get it. First of all, you need to have a recent version of DraftSite. If it's not the case, you can download DraftSite from DraftSite.com. It is a professional software, but as you can see, it's free. Next step is to download the plugin. You will find it on the Grabert website, that is Grabert.com. DraftSite is powered by Grabert's CAD Technologies. We know every single line of code of it, so you can safely rely on our plugins. In the stores menu, you will find our market for draft site. You will easily find the page of the PDF import plugin. And from there, you can download the plugin to test it for free for one month. You will get a setup. All you have to do is to launch it and follow the instructions. Now, assuming you have installed the plugin, I will explain how to use it. After install, the PDF import plugin can be found in the insert menu. If you buy the final version of this plugin, you will also get access to the batch processing feature. This option enables the conversion of multiple PDF files contained in the same folder. The options button lets you configure some settings, including this very handy feature, creating layers from the colors of your PDF. Next step is to browse your computer to select a PDF document. The preview feature windows lets me check if it's the right file. And now the plugin has found my PDF has three pages. I can select one or several pages to import. The shift and control keys allow for a multiple selection. Then the import starts. It can take up to 3 minutes depending on the file. You need to specify where to insert the first drawing and we'll repeat this for each page you imported. As required, layers have been created by color. It gives you the freedom to filter entities. Pages are imported as a block. They behave like one single entity. But if you want to edit the drawings, you can use the explode command to convert the block in lines. Now each line is independent. I can for example delete these lines if I don't need them. Then you can of course use all the CAD features of DraftSite to edit your drawing. Thanks for listening! You can try this plugin for free and others from our website. 
Please like our page on Facebook to stay tuned and learn about other plugins for draft sites. And don't forget to tell all your friends about the plugins for draft sites.